excited because at Simplified Pantry, we have a new, I figured you might, Alyssa, <laughs> too much cleanup. Okay, yeah, I get that. Um, I have a new freebie available. It's a one page printable. It's like more than a recipe. It's not a basic recipe, really. It's more of a guide because making bread is really more of an art than a science. Why I do bread? Okay, yeah. Uh, the main, hey Amy, thank you for inviting followers. Well, the main reason that I make my own bread is that it's cheaper and it tastes better. <laughs> Really, um, it is so much cheaper than buying bread, especially equivalent bread. I really started making bread regularly when my oldest, we suspected that he was allergic to corn, including corn, and primarily corn syrup. And I don't, he either outgrew it or he wasn't really, I don't know. But we eliminated corn syrup from our kitchen entirely for a year and and so that's like when, like every shortcut you can make. We don't have an Aldi's here, Diana, so I don't know if it's cheaper than Aldi's. <laughs> no preservatives, exactly. It's so much better bread. Like there it might be cheaper bread, but it's going to taste like cheaper bread. You know, it's going to be that weird kind of cardboardy bread and not like real bread. <laughs> um so it kind of depends, it does depend on what bread you're comparing it to, whether or not it's cheaper, but it's pretty cheap. And it really, it doesn't have to be complicated and hard. I love crusty bread also. I know, <laughs> we don't, this part of the country, there are no Aldi's. <laughs> we do have a Winco. I use um, a bread mixer, not a bread maker, and I have a big one. I, it's not a KitchenAid. It does the same thing as a KitchenAid, but it's a Bosch mixer. It's like a KitchenAid for large families. <laughs> um, yes, it does the hard work. So my Bosch does the hard work, and it can make five or six loaves at a time. So if I was using a bread maker and making a single loaf, I'd have to have that thing running like almost every day. But with my Bosch mixer, I can make up you know, enough bread to last us for a week at once. <laughs> yes, I love my Bosch. Love, love the Bosch. Um, especially, no, the Bosch does not cook it. It's just, an, it's a, it's a KitchenAid. It's the same kind of thing as a KitchenAid. It's just massive. <laughs> um, so, it, and it's like a KitchenAid, you know, the KitchenAid, the mixer comes in from the top. The Bosch is all open, too, so you just pour things in. Anyway, so at Simplified Pantry, we have a new freebie, and it's a basic bread recipe. I think this thing is set to make two loaves of bread, so you could make it in a KitchenAid. I would triple this to make it in my Bosch. Um, I put in well, maybe not quite triple. I put in six to seven cups of liquid when I make bread. Um, so this basic, <laughs> I'm reading all these comments. Okay, so this basic bread printable, um, it tells you the steps and lays it out. I really love the way that it's set up because it makes it easy to see the process. So like, okay, I just add the ingredients, then I knead these things in, then I shape it, then I bake it. There are really only four steps to bread making. And um, you get the basic here at the top. So if you are comfortable making bread and you've done this before, you can just glance at what you put in when. If you need more instruction, then there's this down here, which is instruction and also like some of the know-how, some of the science <laughs> behind, that makes making bread um, happen. Yes, I love the Bosch machine. Um, I, I freeze baked bread. So I make all the loaves and then I freeze it baked. Um, and I'll even make it into dinner rolls and freeze it, but I freeze it all after I've baked it. So this freebie, you can get it at simplifiedorganization.com slash scope. If you want, you can, let me, basic bread, you can screenshot that and find the URL to grab this and the quick, actually, 
if you screenshot that, you even have the recipe right there, don't you? So that's cool. Yes, freeze it. Then you can make a big batch and just pull it out. I usually pull it out and just leave it on the counter the night before. So before I go to bed, one of the things I do is grab whatever I need for the next day out of the freezer. So you can make this. This makes two loaves of bread. And then when you have bread on hand, you can have simple, easy, quick breakfasts, lunch. Um, it is simplifiedorganization.com slash scope. Thanks, Diana. Simplifiedorganization.com slash scope. The Bosch is a giant mixer. You can put like 12 or 16 cups of flour in it. It's awesome. So you can download this and uh, experiment making your own bread. So some of you who have tried making bread before, what are your sticking points? What makes it hard? Or why, if you want to, like what's holding you back from making bread? Thanks, Diana. It is, I love how it turned out. This is, so at Simplified Pantry, um, we are coming out, and I'm saying we now for Simplified Pantry because I have a new lady coming on to help me with it. Um, she emailed me, out of the blue for me, um, a long process. Oh, well, I'm going to tell you it's easy. How about that? Especially if you just know, yeah, not eating it in one. That's why you have to make five loaves at one at once. Then you can't eat it all. You can eat some, and you still have some left over. Okay, well, if you are in and out of the house a lot, making bread might not um, might be more difficult. Simplified Pantry is actually my first site, uh, and I keep it up less now, but I'm, I'm trying to get back at it. So Simplified Pantry is where you can, what well, you can get, download this at simplifiedorganization.com slash scope. Um, <laughs> um, so you can get this at simplifiedorganization.com slash scope. But Simplified Pantry, it was one of my first blogs. Um, and that is where I feature Simplified Dinners, which is more of a concept for making dinner. So it's, a, it's an ebook, and it has the process for making things and a basic pantry list so that you can be freed from recipes so that you can just say, okay, I'm going to make a pasta dinner tonight. And I know I have these things because I have a master pantry list. I just always buy these things and whatever meat is on sale. And I can make all these dinners so I don't have to go browsing Pinterest or all recipes or taste of home magazines or whatever. Um, and then I can, I know I can make dinner. I know I have things in the house to make dinner. So that's simplifieddinners.com. And a reader um, earlier in the year emailed me and said that she, she purchased Simplified Dinners a couple of years ago. Uh, when it was first out, I think. And she had loved it so much that she redid her breakfast and her lunch. Um, Gluten-free bread. I, my, my personal opinion is that that's an oxymoron, but I'll, uh, that is the territory of other people. So she emailed me and said that she redid her breakfast and lunch routine this way. And, if, and she wanted to know if I wanted to take a look at it, if I liked it, if we could sell it on Simplified Pantry. So she sent it to me and it is amazing. I've had people email me and ask if I could make simplified lunches and simplified breakfast along the same lines as simplified dinner. And the honest opinion, my honest <laughs> response is that no, I can't because I hate lunch <laughs> and I just give the kids oatmeal, sometimes German pancakes for breakfast. I am, I don't want to think about breakfast and lunch. The less I think about breakfast and lunch, the better. <laughs> So someone else emailed me and said, oh, I, I did this for breakfast and lunches and I looked at it and it was awesome. And I've been trying her recipes and they're great. So um, hopefully they're going to be released next week. And this is our freebie. This is this was so it's Tracy Grossman is the author, is the author of Simplified Breakfasts and Simplified Lunches. And Tracy also made this basic bread freebie. So it, this was her idea to break it down and say, you know, bread making is just these four steps. There's only 
um, you know, it just takes a couple minutes to combine the ingredients and then you let it sit. So there's a sitting step between each of these things. It might take a lot of time to make bread, but it's really not very much hands-on time. It's you mix up the ingredients and then you let it sit. Then you knead it and then you let it sit. You let it rise. Then you shape it and then you let it rise and then you bake it and then it cools. So these are really very small chunks of time that are hands-on. And then there's just a lot of sitting time. So it does take, it's a longer process. But if you're doing other things in the kitchen, you know, it's, it doesn't take that much time or effort hands-on, especially if you have a mixer doing the kneading work for you. Okay, you can give it a try. You know, what? five, six cups of flour and three cups of water two lo get, will get you two loaves of bread. It's worth the experiment, right? And you could, if you have a bread maker and you prefer that, you know, I, you could cut this in half probably and put it in your bread maker because this is for two loaves and a bread maker generally does one. So, um, yeah, exactly. That is what we are all about is just things that you already have in your pantry. You also need yeast, of course. Yes, this is a whole wheat bread. It's not 100%, although you could make it 100%. I usually do make mine at 80 to 100%. This one, um, this one is about two thirds whole wheat, but I, I do grind wheat. I just got a wheat grinder this year. So, um, I grew up homeschooled. My mom always made our bread every week with her Bosch mixer and she always ground her own wheat. So I'm like, I'm, I'm getting to that same place in life now, <laughs> but I like being able to just buy a 50 pound bag of wheat and it just can sit in the pantry. And when, so whenever I do need to make something whole wheat, that's right. Second generation. And it, the bread tastes so much better with freshly ground flour. So it really does. Um, I don't know, the whole wheat flour just kind of goes stale faster, I think, because it has more goodness in it. Uh, other flavors, I have another bread recipe that's on Simplified Pantry. It's, I call it artisan bread on there, and I, and I do sometimes make different flours. Yeah, that's true, uh, or at least made it possible. So... Um, I totally lost my train of thought. If you search artisan bread on Simplified Pantry, then you will you also find some variations on that one. That's a crusty bread. This one right here is a sandwich bread. And so for a sandwich bread, I usually just make it plain sandwich bread. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> um... It's the same measurement. So if, if you're using whole wheat versus white wheat, there's a difference in texture and there's a difference in the amount of water that it needs to, to stay moist. But what this has here in these tips at the bottom, and you can kind of see there's text along here. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Those little text things are are also going to describe kind of what it should be feeling and looking like and how to know whether it's right. Because I'll be honest, when I'm making bread, I really don't measure. Uh, simplifiedpantry.com is where I kind of write about kitchen things. You can get this freebie there, but you can also go to simplifiedorganization.com slash scope to get this freebie. And in the email that delivers the freebie, there are also links to the different bread recipes. One of the latest posts on Simplified Pantry is by Tracy. And thank you, Don. 